Hi guys, in this video I will be sharing with you the newest fragrance from Prada. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina. I do product reviews on luxury beauty, skincare, and makeup. Occasionally a luxury accessory review or a vlog here and there. So if you have not subscribed, please press the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside it so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. So today I'm very excited. This comes very impromptu as I did not even know that Prada had launched a new fragrance until last night and I literally came across it as a fluke and I don't usually buy fragrances impulsively I usually will try them out first or get a tester or research about it read the notes what it's inspired by but this is probably the first fragrance I've bought this quickly. So first I'm going to show you guys the product. I came across this at Sephora and I was very fortunate to, to bump into a colleague in the industry who happens to be the national education manager for L'Oreal Group Perfumes. and. I saw him, we chatted for a bit, and then that's the only time I realized that Prada actually launched a new fragrance and they were actually having an event. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is called Prada Paradox, and I am gonna unbox this with you guys. Of course, I smelled it, and I'll show you what it came with this. And it retails for only 105 Canadian, which was such a shocker to me. Obviously, this is more of a mainstream commercial kind of fragrance this is not niche this is a designer mainstream fragrance so but even given that the price point is absolutely amazing this is 30 mil so it's 105 well i guess it's about the same price range so yeah about mid-range now i'm going to show you guys the bottle the bottle is also very interesting look how beautiful this bottle is I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at this bottle. Then it has Prada over here. It says Prada here. I should put the box behind it. Look at the bottle. It is gorgeous. Okay. Of course, I've sprayed a little on me, but this is the first time I'm spraying it with this bottle because I also got, because they're launching at this special event, this little Prada cosmetic pouch, which is actually really nice because it's made of like nylon. You can travel with this. I like that it has a bit of structure to it. You can put, this is a good makeup bag, you guys. So obviously it still has the cardboard, but it has a shape. And then I also got this 10 mil atomizer which is what I'm gonna to bring to travel so this is what I sprayed because the moment I woke up this morning I knew I wanted to spray this on myself and the moment I knew I was gonna get this was when I put it on my skin and he actually commented that I actually like how this smells more on the skin which is really really good because a lot of fragrances when you smell them on a paper or blotter when you initially smell them it smells amazing but once it's on the skin it's just not as impressive which is quite sad but this one actually smells amazing on the skin okay oh my god okay i am gonna read what it is to you so this is described as powder paradox is an amber floral fragrance for women this was launched in 2022. It was created by Nada J. Legarland Tezek, Antoine Masondu, and Shimala Shaya Mala Maisondu. Of course, I'm not pronouncing those right. Top notes pear, tangerine, and bergamot. Middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, sab sambac. Neroli essence and neroli base notes are bourbon, vanilla, amber, white musk, and benzoin. So, a lot of amazing notes there that I usually gravitate towards obviously so the way that this comes off to me and the, the reason I like it is it's still in that designer kind of aesthetic of kind of a sweet feminine floral but it is not 
overtly sweet or romantic and I think it's the Neroli. This is the first like combination of a very intense, like you have very fresh citrus notes on the top but you also have a base of amber and vanilla which are very warm. So you have like this not really contradiction, but it's like very citrusy notes in the very top and very anchored and very warm notes in the bottom, which are not usually put together. So when you're talking series, it's like very fresh, very summery. And then you have the Neroli in the middle, which is like, I think that's what gives it so much character. And then the white musk on the base also gives it that powdery femininity. And with Prada, if you, like Prada candy in the mid 2000s. To me that was such a deal breaker or game changer because it had that floral that was very sweet but also very powdery but just gorgeous. This is the reinvented 2022 version of that that has a little more character in line with the times because of the Neroli. So I think Neroli as a note is very common with niche brands right now, you know, with Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino and just Neroli as an ingredient. It's not really that common when it comes to designer women's fragrances, but I think this just hits the mark. It has notes put together that you have not really quite smelled before, but it still evokes designer. It still evokes feminine floral. It is so gorgeous, you guys, and it really does sit on the skin very well. I am, obviously, I was very impressed because I immediately, I just needed to spray it on my wrist and walk around for maybe less than two minutes, and I was sold. The price point is quite good as well. Of course, I didn't get the humongous bottle, which is good. I think they only had this one anyway for now, but... I don't mind it because usually like this was my summer fragrance the one I got in Paris and I'm almost halfway. This is 175 ml. So I actually prefer fragrances that are not in humongous bottles because I change my aesthetic, I change my feel frequently. So like the only 100 ml I'll, I'll get now is like Louis Vuitton because it comes in 100 ml. But for everything else, especially with new launches, I usually like, I prefer getting smaller bottles also, they're easier to travel with, but I highly recommend this. If you like designer female fragrances, especially along the lines of YSL Mon Paris, YSL Black Opium, not so much YSL Libre, and maybe Monsieur Eau de Parfum, these are some of the no, I wouldn't say similar, but if you like fragrances like that, I think this will your, blow your mind out of the park because it is still a feminine designer floral, but the amber, neroli, and the white must incorporate it. Just, it's so unique. It's, it's like a, it's a sweet kind of warm, yet fresh fragrance not very deep or sensual but as you actually wear it longer it gets warmer and deeper so it's also good as a night fragrance i think a lot of people will think this is more like a night fragrance but i like wearing these kinds of fragrance whether day or night so there's musk there's depth there's floral and then the top notes with the pear and the bergamot on the top there's an instant freshness which dies down to a warm floral musky amber which is just for me i feel like the dry down is quite elevated than other designer fragrances so that is about it you guys i hope you found this video interesting and informative if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments down below I will put a link of this down below. It is an exquisite fragrance. I think amazing price point for a designer fragrance, especially the 30 mil. If you're not so sure, start with this. It's a beautiful bottle. It is called Prada Paradox, and I highly recommend it. The link will be down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're staying safe and happy wherever you are. I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.